come out to uh, Wild Dog Hill uh, Nature Reserve slash National Park out here. Uh, it's about uh, 10 minutes outside of Wyala. Uh, really nice little spot and we're about to go and do the walk. Uh, the area has a lot of um, Aboriginal significance. Uh, it's, it's been an important site long before um, you know, uh, long before white settlement uh, of the area. Uh, so the story uh, apparently goes that uh, there were kids that were killed by dingoes here and uh, the medicine man it was uh, took the ki took the dingoes and threw them off the uh, off the edge of the cliffs here uh, to, to kill them. Um, so yeah, that's the story and also it's an area of significance for all the animals in the area. There's water holes up at the top and those water holes, uh, when it rains, they fill up and it's a good area for animals to come and drink and everything like that. So yeah, yeah, we'll uh, go for a walk around and check it out. Another thing that's worth checking out here in Wyala is the uh, Wyala wetlands. There's a this big wetland area um, right here. It's fairly close to town. It's only about two k's from the caravan park, actually, and it's fairly close to the water and everything. Uh, but yeah, you park up, and there's a cafe, um, and yeah, you can just sort of walk around. I don't know if you can see over behind me. I'll drop in some video or something like that. But there's um, uh, there's some play, good playground and things up there. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's lots of uh, nice walking and riding paths to go around through here, so not too bad of a spot to spend, you know, an hour or so just walking around and checking it out with the kids. <laughs> One thing I've noticed is there's always heaps and heaps of rubbish. Um, a lot of these nice spots and it's all plastic and it just goes into water systems and it's just no good so i'm going to start a thing and i'm going to start picking up bits and pieces of rubbish where i see it and uh, if i do a little bit a day that's better than nothing and uh, i'm going to encourage everybody to do the same Come down to the uh, fire ramp area where there's a couple of pontoons floating around, a good swimming area. Um, it's a little bit breezy again, as you can probably hear, and maybe a little bit chilly for a swim, but now uh, got to be done before we go and cook some lunch on the back of the car. Point Lowly today, which is 
It's about 30, 40 k's out of Moala. Um, we looked on the maps and it looked like it had some nice beaches and stuff like that. And most importantly, it looked like it had a little bay that was gonna be all protected from the wind. So yeah, we thought we'd come for a drive out. Um, we think we're gonna cut our stay in Moala short just because the caravan park is pretty average at best. So um, yeah, we'll uh, show you when we get down or when we find a nice beach down around here. But it's a, uh, as you can see, uh, I think it looks like it's a town basically built off industry and shipping and like, there's a massive shipping wharf out there and um, I think it's all connected to the steel works and, and iron ore and things like that in this area so yeah I don't think there's too much else other than you know there's some nice uh, nice beaches and whatnot um, but yeah we'll, we'll show you when we when we find something that's worth looking at. So we found this uh, beautiful little cove um, just a boat ramp and protected harbour. But this is the uh, protected side of the point here. And uh, yesterday I was out at the BCF and staked myself this on sale and it was pretty cheap. I haven't been out spearing in a long time so I thought I'd go out and uh, I'll top the gear and go for a paddle around the other side of the rocks and see if I can find. Um, Zoe will chuck on the camera as I come back in and we'll see if I've got any success. What, what's going on there James? to get some uh, little bit of dinner off that. It looks like a pretty reasonable sized fish. Also, and a squidgy. So yeah, there was, um, I think this GoPro mount sorted out. There was like this, it was like trumpet fish or something like that following me. So it had this really long, small snout on it. These crazy spikes. It just followed me for ages, just cruising along um, underneath me with this small fish. So yeah. Uh, very cool out there. come back down today to false bay so we did all right yesterday um i'll drop in a couple of pictures but got uh four four blue swimmers uh, a couple of decent sized ones and got uh yeah, that fish too which the boys had for dinner um and uh, zoe and i so i cooked the crab uh stripped all the meat out of it and then uh sort of sauteed the meat with a bit of uh, garlic and oil and put that as a topper on some steak for some surf and turf so that was that was pretty good but uh yeah new year i'll drop in a um little time lapse now my thing is i get up every year and watch the sunrise for the first first day of the year so i did that this morning then got out went for a run uh zoe and i are doing the the 75 hard challenge thing over to start the year so uh, we're both doing it together which should make it easier to keep on top of but um, yeah, we're doing you know all of the usuals uh, plus like no sugar. Uh, so my first workout this morning, I got out for a run and did six and a half k's. So 
that was all right. It was bloody pretty warm because it's going to be 36 today. So it was, it was pretty warm. But anyway, we've come down to this spot here. It's called False Bay. Um, yeah, and it's a ripple little spot. Uh, it's actually sandy, which is good because a lot of the areas up, up to this end of the, um, the gulf, they're all rocky. Uh, so they're not crash hot for swimming. Um, but yeah, this is, this is spot on. So it reminds me a bit of uh, Wiralty Beach ish, sort of, you know, that real slow gradient going out into the uh, deeper water. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna hang here for a bit. And then what we've decided to do, we're gonna leave uh, tomorrow um, and we're just gonna go out the Savi and stock up on some bits and pieces before we head off for some bush camps. And I am keen as because I'm going to get some fires going and do some fire cooking.